There are times when the inability to breathe comfortably can only be remedied by surgery. Fortunately, the care and expertise of surgeons like Dr. Tran Vo Huynh of Desert Regional Medical Center in Palm Springs make better breathing a reality. Usually patient comes in to see us for chronic nasal obstruction. They can't breathe through their nose. And as we age, there's certain changes that come with the nose as everything else on your body. The skin start to, you sebaceous gland on the skin overlying the nasal dorsum um, becomes a more productive. So you have more bulbous appearing nose and the nose start to droop as well because of separation between the of the ligaments be connecting the lower and the upper lateral cartilages inside the nose. So any minor deformity that you had when you were younger, let's say you bump your nose when you were a little kid or whatever, as you age will become worse. The problem will be more, more evident to you, meaning people will come in and say, you know, it's been this way for many years and now all of a sudden I can't breathe anymore. Let's say if your problem is only because of septal deviation, the septum is the divider between the two sides of your nose. Most Caucasian, the septum is not straight because you know of previous trauma, playing sport or doing something else, and the septum is more crooked to one side or what we refer to as deviation to one side compared to the other. Then you would have more room to breathe through on one side versus the other. So a surgery to correct or straighten out the septum will not change the external appearance of the nose at all, very much. So, um, and that could help you breathe better through your nose. We need to do a careful nasal examination in the office. Um, Sometimes we need to use what we call a nasal endoscope, which is a um, light source that we look inside the nose to study the anatomy better, to make sure there's no um, allergies or sinusitis or um, other pathologies such as a mass in the nose or something else that can cause this. And then once you've eliminate everything else, then you study the anatomy, the internal and external anatomy of the nose to figure out exactly what's causing the obstruction. If a patient has had significant trauma when they was younger, some people you see their nose is totally deviated to one side or it's a C-shaped deformity, like somebody knocked them from one side, knocked the nose over and it's been sitting in that position for years, then it's a different story. We really have to re-break the nasal bones and bring the nose back to the midline in order to correct the deformity and to give patient a better chance to breathe through his or her nose. Uh, and that is more extensive surgery, and of course that will change the external appearance of the nose. If we just try to shrink the turbinates down, that can be done um, in the office under local anesthesia, local anesthetic. And if you want to do a septum, a septoplasty, or straighten out the septum, that's usually done in the OR. And it's a day surgery, meaning you come in and you leave the same day. You just have to have someone with you to drive you home because most of the time it's done under general anesthesia. If the goal is to help the patient breathe better, and you know that was documented on physical exam in the office, I could say 100% of the time, almost close to 100%, they will feel better, you know, so um, I would say very successful.